Your Lordship, uh, my lady, may I be placed on record for the second and the fourth interested party? And permit me to only indicate the implication of the orders of the impalment that were issued by the judge who directed the Chief Justice does and panel you. To the best of my thinking and knowledge is that the prayer was granted as it is for the impalment of five bench. Five be five judge bench. Mr. Jerry. Jero. Jero. Jero, yes. They want Jero. We speak from the record. <laughs> you had me mention the parties. I said that this file has been empaneled to comprise the Honorable Mr. Justice Eric Ogola, the Honorable Mr. Justice Morima, the Honorable Dr. Judge Freda Mugambi. I think that's very clear. We are only three. That, that's correct. But uh, okay, I will address you tomorrow on that issue. My lords, my lady. So we mention it tomorrow. Mr. Njiru, you say you come you, for which parties? Your Lordship, I appear for the second and the fourth interested party. Thank you. My, my lords. Lord, perhaps if I may make a request. My lord, there is a file that is live before you. Uh, and that is petition number 565 of 2024. Uh, we have requested, my lord, that you give directions in respect of the applications in that matter, because this process of taking quorum might take some time. And there are three cohorts of files that are before you. And if I may just be given a moment to explain myself. As the court has correctly identified, there is a cohort of files that are consolidated in petition 522. There is a cohort of files that is consolidated around petition 565, which have the two applications that the court has identified as urgent. And then there are these others that have been referred to the court by virtue of the email that we have all seen today. It is my request that the court keeps them in those cohorts so that the applications are able to be dealt with because they are urgent. These are important, but the applications are urgent. And the court has identified that urgency. Because this will go on for two or three hours without any directions having been given in 565. We are being made orphans. The state is in the bedroom. Let us also be in the bedroom so that we can respond. Mr. Amari, what do you want to do in the bedroom? <laughs> Mr. Nyamodi, the reason why we are mentioning these matters is to find out if any of them would be ripe for consolidation with the matter which is here so that we don't duplicate. Thank you, my Lord. My Lord, perhaps as you consider that, let me put it on record that if you are considering whether they are ripe for consolidation, the consolidation should not then slow down the hearing of the application that you have already identified as urgent. If they are to come on board, they come on board and proceed from where we are. 